Hey guys, Dan here. Uh, this is going to be a bit of a different video. It's going to be unscripted. Uh, I just wanted to give my thoughts about uh, the Crash 4 demo. Uh, before I begin, I got a code for this demo through um, a PR rep who works with Activision, so thank you very much uh, to them. I really appreciate that. Um, their info in the description below. Before I give my thoughts about the um, demo as a whole, I just want to give you an idea of like my personal history with Crash. Um, I actually never really grew up with Crash. I was more of a Nintendo 64 kid. Um, I never really got into Crash until much later. Uh, my first Crash game was actually um, that one on the Game Boy Advance. I think it's called like The Big Adventure or something. Yeah! And I never really got into, like, the first three games. That being said, when the Insane Trilogy was announced and then eventually released on Switch, that's when I really got into Crash, and that's kind of when my excitement and uh, enjoyment for the series kind of took off. And uh, I've played some other Crash games since. I've played Wrath of Cortex, Twin Sanity, uh, CTR, both the original and Nitro Fueled, um, the other Game Boy Advance game. I think that's all of them that I played. Yeah. And when I heard that they were making another Crash game, Crash 4, it's about time, uh, I was extremely excited and I am very much looking forward to the final uh, game to be released. Um, before I get into the actual levels, uh, there are about three or two and a half depending on how you look at them. I wanted to let you know that before I started, I was a little concerned about the controls. I had heard a few things from a few other people that the controls were a little uh, iffy or wonky or something like that. Now, as I said, I didn't really grow up with like the big Crash games that everyone loves, one through three. Um, that being said, I had gotten used to a lot of the um, pro moves, as the kids would call them, uh, like, you know, like the slide jump was something I used a lot, um, and I heard that that was one thing that was kind of sort of nerfed in this demo, so I guess we'll just have to, s I guess, you know, I, I just thought we'll have to see when I play the game. And then after I was done with the three levels, uh, my overall consensus was it played extremely well for the most part. I'll get to the for the most part section a little later but um other than that i thought the music was great i thought the voice acting was great um i noticed i noticed crash was like sounded a little different i knew that coco had a different voice actor i wasn't sure if crash did i'm i don't think he does although it does sound a little different from what i remember hearing but i don't know i'll have to look into that a little more uh animation was great just a lot of greatness all around I should mention that I was playing this on a base PS4 Slim, so the cutscenes were around. I didn't really have like a cutscene. I didn't really have like a um, frames per second counter, but it would seem like the cutscenes and the gameplay were running at different speeds. I'd say the cutscenes were a little faster, like 40, and the gameplay was 30. I've heard that it's a lot more smooth on the Pro, but honestly, it wasn't that big a deal. It was a little noticeable, but it actually wasn't a big deal and didn't take me out of the moment at all. I thought it was fine. Um, I didn't really have a problem with it. I thought Snow Way Out was a very good introduction to the Time Mask. Uh, it took a little while to get used to the controls in Snow Way Out, um, but after that it was uh, smooth sailing. Um, really, I used Snow Way Out as kind of like an intro level to get used to the controls and like get reacquainted back into like crash platforming because I really haven't played a crash platformer since Insane Trilogy, um, which was like two years ago. So it took a little bit of time to get used to it again. So the first time I played through the level, um, I really sucked actually. I had like 50 deaths um, and I didn't really get anything that I was hoping to get in terms of like extras. Um, but the second time I played through, I did a lot better. I got the uh, Nitro Retro Tape, which I think you can only get if you get to that point with no deaths, and that was like in the middle of the level. Um, I got all the hidden gems except for the box gem. I was missing like two boxes, but I was fine with that. Um, I feel like the level was a good mixture of classic Crash and this new stuff that they were trying to introduce. They definitely focused on the time mask for a good majority. I'd say for about like half of it. 
And, it, you know, it was fine, actually. Like, it was classic Crash gameplay mixed with this, and I was totally fine with that. Um, it actually mixes together much better than I thought it would, which is really nice. Um, exploring the level and finding the secrets was a lot of fun. Playing the bonus level was a lot of fun. Um, it was just an all-around really fun level. Uh, even going for everything um, didn't stop me from having fun. I had a lot of fun with this level. Uh, and I'm looking forward to playing it again in the final release. Uh, up next is Dino Dash. Um, this one definitely felt a lot more like Classic Crash. Um, there were more hallway sections, there was a chase scene, um, there was one section with the phasing mask, and it took a little bit of time for me to get used to the phasing mask and how it works because they also paired that in with the other, another new mechanic that uh, they added, which was the uh, grinding on the rails. Um, so that took a little bit of time. Um, it was fine though, but again, it was very short compared to the time mask in Snow Way Out. So there's really, I can't really give a solid opinion on what I think of that mask. Kind of wish we had more, um, more time with the mask that wasn't related to the grinding slash riding on the vine rail thing, but that is okay. Other than that, I thought the enemy placement was fair. I love the enemy designs in this level. There was one section with lava rocks that made me realize that, yeah, the slide jump does kind of suck now. But um, that only took away a few lives, actually. I eventually got used to the feel and control of that section. And uh, once I kind of figured out what to do, it was pretty easy to figure out what I had to do, like I said. Um, yeah, I mean, that's really all I have to say about that level. It was a little long, but honestly, it was very fun. Again, felt more like Classic Crash than the uh, Snow Way Out level, but um, both levels were good on their own merit. And now we're at the final level of the demo, which is Ship Happens. It's kind of like a half level, because half of the level you play as Cortex, and the other half of the level is just basically the second half of Snow Way Out uh, as Crash, except the box placement is different, it's a little more tricky, uh, there's some more use of some more um, ingenious and deadly boxes like the uh, exclamation mark crate and the um, fire crate, I think they're calling it now. So yeah, the second half of the level I thought was fine for the most part, a little more difficult in terms of the um, box placement, enemy hazard placement, that kind of thing. But I got used to it eventually. Um, but. I do want to talk about the Cortex section, because that's probably where I feel like I was the most divisive about this game. So the way Cortex plays is Crash in this game has a lot of uh, jump momentum, a pretty fast character, uh, very acrobatic, like very easy to move with, very fun to move with, very fluid to move with. Cortex is kind of the opposite. He has like a single weak jump. Um, his attack is a laser that turns enemies into stones or bouncy things. I don't know. It's weird, but I guess it makes sense in the Crash universe. And also a dash. So, I don't know. It just feels very counterintuitive to the Crash gameplay. There was one section, kind of like in the beginning of the level, where there's like a secret you can go for. Uh, with some boxes towards the end, just to get the total box counter up. And I died there, like, I would say 40 times, just because it took very long for me to get used to the Cortex gameplay. It helps that when you do the dash, it doesn't drop you down right away, and it gives you a little bit of buffer to kind of, like, fix any mistake you made. If you went over or under, it gives you a little bit of time to fix that. Um, that being said, uh, it did take a while, and I wasn't a huge fan of it. Luckily, it was... well, so it took me a while, but luckily, in, ter in the grand scheme of things, it wasn't that long a section. Um, but yeah, that was definitely my least favorite part of the demo, and it makes me kind of worried uh, for how seamless the levels and gameplay will shift between characters. 
like uh, Cortex and Dingo Dial and Tana. Um, but I guess we'll have to see when the final game releases. So uh, my final thoughts about the demo are I had a lot of fun really the whole way through. I definitely enjoyed myself the entire way. Even the parts that, you know, like I mentioned, I wasn't a huge fan of. I was still having fun. Um, and I feel like that's important to mention because even with the Cortex part, even with how annoyed I was at that part, I was still having fun. I'm, I'm really bad uh, at this game, but um, doesn't mean I'm not having fun, which is good. Um, hopefully the problems I did have with the demo, like how they transition between levels with different characters, uh, will be taken care of in the final game release, and I'm definitely looking forward to the final game to be released. Uh, I think that's it. Or is it? Oh my god, it's... Manuel D. What are you specific number of people doing here? I thought you had your own channel, which was... HTTPS colon slash slash www.youtube.com Hi, I'm Manuel D. I review cartoons, video games, and other media-related stuff. This is in fact a collaboration with me and Mr. Dan the Man. So, if you want, please check out my video discussing the demo. Links to the video and my channel will be in the description. Well, that was weird. Uh, thanks again to Manuel D for coming on my channel. Uh, if you want to see his thoughts on the demo, I would definitely recommend checking out his video. It should be up around the same time I put my video up. Uh, and you may even see me there, maybe, possibly, hopefully. I don't know by the time I'm recording this. I think so, yeah. Um, anyway, that's it. Looking forward to the final game. Uh, thanks for watching. Um, stay tuned because we have a lot of cool stuff coming up on this channel, and I'm looking forward to seeing uh, everyone again in the next video. All right, have a great one, guys. Bye.